Hi friends, welcome back to Curious Minds. I'm Mukesh and today's video is about the history of CRS cutoff scores in the form of a graph for better visualization. But wait, before we go ahead, let's understand what the CRS cutoff scores mean. For those who are not aware, CRS stands for Comprehensive Ranking System and it is a point-based system that is used by the IRCC to assess and score each profile and rank it in the express entry pool. CRS scores are used to assess a candidate based on their skills, education, language ability, work experience and other factors. IRCC issues invitation to apply to candidates whose uh, CRS score is above the minimum cutoff score requirements for that particular draw. So for example, if the CRS cutoff score is 450, anyone who has a score of 450 or higher would receive an invitation to apply for permanent residency. The Express Entry Program was started on January 1st, 2015 to speed up the immigration process for skilled workers to Canada who are most likely to succeed economically. And the draws have happened almost on a bi-weekly schedule since the last five years, except since March 2020 due to the COVID crisis. In this video, we will look at what has happened over the last five years with the CRS cutoff scores. You will be able to see the past trends uh, of the CRS score, but obviously no one knows what the future requirements may look like. So without further ado, let's get into it. This graph is about CRS cutoff scores for draws in which no program was specified and it does not include draws for provincial nominee program or Canadian experience class. In the last five years of express entry, the highest CRS cutoff score was 886 in January 2015, right when the program started, and the lowest score was 413 in May 2017. The first couple years, the cutoff scores were quite erratic and stayed high, but as time went on, the score started to stabilize in the mid 400s with the year 2017 seeing the lowest scores and the best year for candidates with low scores. Over the last few years, the number of immigrants coming to Canada has been increasing rapidly and so the cutoff scores have gone up since last year. Indians accounted for 25% of all immigrants receiving permanent residency last year due to increasing trends of Indian students enrolling in Canadian universities and also with Indians immigrating from United States due to green card backlog. Now let's look at each graph in detail. 2015 was the first year of express entry process and the CRS scores were quite high, erratic and stayed above 450 throughout the year. In total, 30,000 ITAs were issued this year. Twenty sixteen again saw erratic CRS scores with a couple of scores above five hundred and the cutoff score stayed above four fifty throughout the year. This year thirty three thousand ITAs were issued. Twenty seventeen was the best year for express entry candidates with the lowest CRS cutoff scores throughout the history of express entry and had the lowest cutoff score ever of 413 in the month of May. This year saw a dramatic increase in the total number of ITAs issued. 81,700 ITAs were issued this year. 2018 was the year where the score didn't fluctuate much. Score stayed between 439 to 456 throughout the year. This is the year when we got our ITA with a score of 457. This year, 88,700 ITAs were issued. For the first five months of 2019, the score stayed below 450, but then jumped to 470, stayed above 460 for the next few months, and ended the year over 470. This year, 84,300 ITAs were issued. 2020 so far has seen only five express entry draws, which included all programs, and has not had any draws for the general express entry candidates since April 2020. 
According to IRCC website, about 21,800 candidates have a CRS score above 450, which means for the CRS score to drop down below 450, at least these many candidates will have to receive their ITAs and more may apply during this time. This year, only 18,600 ITAs have been issued so far. Uh, which means for Canada to meet its immigration requirement for the year 2020, there has to be a sudden increase in the number of ITAs that are being issued. And also, there has to be an increased number of express entry draws. So be ready by submitting your express entry profile. I hope that these graphs have helped you visualize how the CRS scores have changed over the last five years and also be hopeful that the CRS scores could come down as they have in the past. But again, be ready by submitting your express entry profile. That's it for today's video and see you in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful day and stay curious.